The marsupial lion, scientifically known as Thylacoleo carnifex, was one of Australia's most formidable prehistoric predators. Roaming the continent during the Pleistocene epoch, roughly 2 million to 46,000 years ago, this unique carnivorous marsupial stood out for its powerful build, specialised teeth and retractable claws. Unlike modern big cats, Thylacoleo had blade-like premolars designed for slicing flesh, making it a highly efficient hunter. Weighing between 100 to 130 kilograms and equipped with muscular forelimbs, it could ambush prey from above or engage in powerful frontal attacks. As a top predator, the marsupial lion played a crucial role in its ecosystem, preying on large herbivores such as giant kangaroos and wombat-like diprotodon. Convergent evolution is a fascinating phenomenon where unrelated species independently evolve similar traits or adaptations as a result of having to adapt to similar environments or ecological niches. The marsupial lion is a prime example of convergent evolution, showcasing how marsupials can develop features remarkably similar to those of placental mammals, such as modern big cats, despite being evolutionarily distinct. Thylacoleo carnifex was not a placental mammal, but a marsupial, a part of a group of mammals that primarily develop in the mother's pouch after birth. Despite this fundamental difference, the marsupial lion exhibited several traits commonly associated with placental carnivorous mammals. The closest relatives of Thylacoleo within the marsupial family are found in the order Diprotodontia, which includes a diverse range of species from herbivores to omnivores and include wombats, koalas and even possums and gliders. The marsupial lion and wombats share a common ancestor that lived millions of years ago. From this common ancestor, different evolutionary paths led to the diverse forms we see within the Diprotodontia today. Within the context of the Diprotodontia order, both marsupial lions and wombats are part of the same larger clade but represent different branches. Their evolutionary paths showcase the adaptive versatility of marsupials in Australia. The marsupial lion remains a subject of great interest for paleontologists and researchers studying Australia's prehistoric fauna. Thylacoleo's skull was robust and adapted for a powerful bite. The key feature of its dentition was the presence of large, blade-like third premolars, which were highly efficient at slicing through meat. Unlike modern carnivores that possess sharp canines, Thylacoleo's canines were relatively small, and it relied more on its unique premolars for feeding. Its limbs were muscular and well suited for grasping and climbing. The forelimbs in particular were adapted with large retractable claws on the first digits, resembling those of modern day big cats, which likely aided in capturing and holding onto prey. The marsupial lion may have been an ambush predator, using its climbing ability to surprise prey from above or hiding in dense vegetation to launch sudden attacks. The marsupial lion was about the size of a modern day lioness. It had a robust muscular build with powerful forelimbs, suggesting it was a strong and capable climber. Fossil remains of Thylacoleo have been found across various parts of Australia, providing valuable insights into its anatomy, behaviour and ecological role. Notable sites where fossils of the marsupial lion have been found include the Narracourt Caves in South Australia and the Riversley Fossil Beds in Queensland. The limestone caves and tunnels of the Nullarbor Plain have served as natural traps for thousands of years. Animals, including the marsupial lion, often fell into these caves through vertical shafts or openings and were unable to escape. The dry and stable conditions within these caves have helped preserve the remains of these animals exceptionally well. This has provided paleontologists with a rich source of fossil material to study. The closest relatives of Thylacoleo carnifex are other members of the family Thylacoleonidae, which is a group of extinct marsupial mammals. Within this family, Thylacoleo carnifex is the most well-known and largest member, but there are other genera and species that share a close evolutionary relationship with it. The Priscillio genus includes smaller and more primitive members of the Thylacoleonidae family. Fossils of Priscillio have been found in Miocene deposits, indicating that the lineage of marsupial lions extends back several million years before Thylacoleo carnifex appeared. Another genus within the Thylacoleonidae family is known as Wakaleo, which includes species that were intermediate in size and had similar carnivorous adaptations. Wakaleo species lived during the Miocene epoch and exhibited both primitive and advanced features seen in Thylacoleo. 
The exact cause of Thylacolio's extinction is not definitively known. However, contributing factors likely include climate change, habitat loss, and competition with humans and other predators. Some researchers believe that ancient Aboriginal rock art might depict this fearsome predator, suggesting a potential overlap between early humans and these formidable carnivores. The marsupial lion remains a subject of great interest for paleontologists, reflecting the rich evolutionary history and unique biodiversity of Australia's ancient past. So, whilst Australia is known for its dangerous animals today, it was far more dangerous in the past. Early indigenous inhabitants had to deal with this formidable creature, along with many other that we will cover in future videos. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell icon to be notified of future uploads.